Second time's a charm. And Skellige Pirates are quite strong still, so. What's this time? Mobilization? Okay. I don't want two of them. Insectoids are good. Territory dive is good. Do want two of them. Yeah, why not? I think that works out quite nicely, actually. Can always play Glusty off this. If we wanted to. And we've got Curse Scroll, because we're going first. We could get rid of one of those Neckers and go for the second Indriga Lava, which I think I'll do. There it is. Now I'd like to discard. Okay. Your turn, my good man. Stack that back row. Ah. Mutagenator deck. Didn't actually get to see that in the uh, finals of the the Open. And it kept getting banned. I'm not all too familiar with it. I'm, I understand how the, um, the Draug version of that deck works. Very nice. Yeah, we can't quite get rid of that just yet, can we? The predatory dive is a 50-50. That plays for a lot of points. Just go for the simple stuff. That's a lot of points for him to catch up. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I don't think you've really boosted too much in your deck with that either, so I think we're winning. We've got the boost there, and we've got the boost on the back row, but they're two quite high cost units. Now, the question is how do we want to go into this round? Quite like to play Glusty here and get out. Glusty and Barghest and get out, and then we'll finish off the round with Man's Dark Secret. Although it tends to work longer in a better in a long round. So maybe finish with Mamuna and Glusty, so we need more Thrive units. Okay. Let's go for it then. Creepy one, isn't she? Another battle, another entry in the chronicle. Right, let's let's get rid of that.
I'm not happy with you having that on the board. What are you going to do? Play your scenario. Okay. Ah. Right. Well. So the thing is, any damage that he does with Bombardment just gets pushed back by Thrive. So here comes Bombardment. Okay, well you got rid of that. That's quite scary, I suppose. Not too worried, however. What did that last one do? Play the highest monster. Right. Let's put one of them down. And we're back in front, just like that. And then we would like to get rid of here. Play that again first. Get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. I think that's a good pass. He's, he's gonna play another Sintron guard. Get like six points for it. And we're running out of uh, running out of Thrive. We need to get our Griffin back in the deck so we can play Mamuna round three. And we've got Barges to tick up alongside them. Potentially Glusty Warp as well. 
Although Gusty Orb's not going to be the greatest here because we've only got three charges from uh, our leader ability. We got a gold out of him as well. Look at that. Twenty odd point victory there. Not, no, it's not quite, is it? But we got quite a decent card out of him. Uh, ooh. Well, if we had an insectoid, that'd be quite good. Don't want that, of course. I don't think we need you either. Right, we've got Mamuna, so we can play Glusty. If we play Glusty, um, there's an order. There's a problem with the order here, isn't there? There is indeed a problem with the order. Because we can't... I mean, that'll give us an extra one, even if we did play it. Let's start with Mamuna. And then we can boost it up massively. Play the Spectre there, spread across two rows, try and go a bit wider. A bit of a lame duck, isn't it? That card actually at the moment. Yeah, that's kind of good. We'll keep these back and then we'll play that next turn. Ah. So he's got no boost in his deck. That mutagenate around one really did not serve him well. Okay. Bosh. Bosh. That's a lot of points. New Thrive with old monster strats thrown in. And we win with an extra card. Sound is a pound. Good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, again, good stuff.